Pituitary Tumor Adventure, August 28, 2021, 10.43 a.m. So, I am um, finally, I'm finally getting my diabetes in syllabus in syllabus like symptoms under control diabetes in syllabus is has nothing to do with sugar it has to do with sodium it's when you like excessively drink and um pee and i um since after my surgery on june 11th when i got the tumor out i was drinking so much and no, first I wasn't drinking so much, but I was peeing a lot. Well, I had an IV, also they gave me fluids. But so anyways, I started drinking more and more and more and peeing so much. So I started tracking it and um, I got the Desmopressin already a while ago, but it never helped. So and just when was that? I broke my record on on the 25th. I peed in 24 hours. I peed 6,630 milliliter. And I peed 950 milliliters at once. So that measuring cup I'm using is one liter. So like thousand. So it's like, it was um, four quarts. It was exactly, it was like on the other side, the American side, it was like full. On the other side with the milliliters, it was almost full. <laughs> so yeah, I should have brought it over. Th this entire measuring cup, I filled up. And yeah, so normally a person urinates in 24 hours between 1500 and 2000 milliliters before my surgery i um was peeing 2500 so that was totally fine it's just more than average i drink a lot i pee a lot yeah but now like well five and a half thousand and even like four and a half thousand now that i broke it more than six and a half thousand milliliters that's um six and a half yeah um that's way too much so i i got concerned it's like a decimal present doesn't work and it's considered as a diabetes and incidibus can be when you pee when you urinate everything between 3 and 20 or even up to 30 liters so you guys that don't know liters 3 liters is 3000 milliliters so yeah my six and a half more than six and a half liters at least it's not 10 20 30 but still i don't want to get there so i finally actually where is it oh i even have it here i finally read the instructions for the decimal pressing and i figured out oh at the very beginning you should actually do five squirts into the air to prime the pump and i didn't do that of course so um maybe that's why it didn't really work at the beginning Oh, actually, that's why it's here. I need to do it right now. And I keep it in the fridge, but I'm really trying not to make this video too long. So I'm going to put it later in the fridge. So yeah, as I said, I, f I figured out the way that help that uh, is helping me now. So I, I have to keep using it like every 24 hours or so. Because like after 24 hours, I feel like... I have to pee a lot more again a lot more often sometimes i can barely wait an hour to go pee again and what is also really funny 
when um i'm okay when when i after desmopressin i'm okay with just drinking what i usually drink um room temperature water but when it wears off when i'm back to so thirsty and dry throat and i have to drink, drink i get up and drink one liter i i don't i it has to be cold it has to be from the fridge and not water it's then i drink like those um flavored sparkling water or those spin drift it has like one gram of sugar or so because it's like strawberry puree or like like stuff like that so um or i even still have some uh play mode is it co it's called they they like electrolytes as a, but it's also sweetened with erythritol mostly so i think the entire bottle like 500 milliliters has i think five grams of sugar so usually i i don't touch that stuff i only drink water but when the desmopressin wears off i need like from the fridge i need flavor and it can't be just water anymore i don't know it's weird um that's common that you want stuff from uh that you want cold drinks with those symptoms i read that okay so i'm gonna take it now so what time do we have because i'm gonna track it last time i took it at five in the morning yeah so like yesterday for example listen to this i went to the bathroom at um well i'm, I'm usually up during the night so i went to the bathroom 22 minutes after midnight and at 2 36 a.m 3 36 4 53 and i was like at five i'm taking the fucking des desmopressin but i'm down to uh like 2200 and i was down to 2135 milliliters so it is helping but i have to keep taking it and i should take it now because i didn't take it earlier because i was outside with norman the dog okay and it has to be left i don't know why and now i'm really making sure i'm getting a good squared up here so Oh, I feel that. Yeah. And I really stayed because first I was always just like, just a little bit. Oh, now I even smell it. Ooh. Okay. I hope I'm not going to, because the first time I took it, I got anxiety and I didn't, I just took, put like a, a little squirt in and suddenly I got like, I got really anxiety. I got so dizzy. The second time was better it was like a, but now the last two times i took it i didn't really feel it but now whoa i can smell it and that's actually my next topic so they want you to take it at night before you sleep but i need it now oh it's coming out so um but i'm here in my bed so in in case i get dizzy i'm i'm here Oh, okay because now i'm really i think now i'm doing it right now i'm getting actually the full dose before i didn't anyways oh what time about 10 51 there's no pressing so okay so I smell the desmopressin now. That's the first time I smell that. And that's actually my next topic, just really quickly. My smell training with the essential oils, I can't really do it anymore. The orange, my favorite. I hate smells. I hate essential oils. Holy shit. Yeah, you see, whoa, strong. Then the lavender, I can do too, but I already hate it. Oh, already, oh, already smell it. Before, I was like in there, like <laughs> trying to smell it. Now I'm like, whoa, no. The 
the you the tea tree oil oil hell no i hate it the mint no the eucalyptus i use the eucalyptus when i go in front of my humidifier um and um inhale um steam but i used to be able to have it here and like either a towel or i have like a cardboard like like here so i used to be I used to have it here now i have it like here because it it really i have it like really far away so what but what actually is better for me now i have here um lavender dry and i can smell that now for no way because it's not as strong as the oils and just today i took some fresh rosemary where I walk the dog, the dog, Norman is not mine. He belongs to Lisa and she has like two big rosemary bushes. And I used to take, uh, so I ask her, I used to take rosemary home all the time, but now I don't eat it anymore, but now I smell it. Oh, and I actually smell it. It's like, wow. Yeah, you would say, oh yeah, of course you smell it like this, but hey, I got, I had surgery. Oh, I should be clear about that. I had surgery through my nose I couldn't smell anything for like five or six weeks. I started to smell something when I, after the appointment at the ENT, he took out more crusting and even packaging as a, from the tampon that was uh, up there was still stuff in there. After that, I could start smelling again, but then I got sick and everything went away again. And now I'm back and now it's really, uh, I make so much progress. Um, the other thing that changed that I haven't told you yet, I think. So I'm doing the sinus wash, right? Every, as a two times a day. And after a while, actually after I was at the ENT, I don't remember when that was. I was like someone in July. Okay, I, I um he gave me steroids. I'm not gonna show you the label now because um uh I did show it and I have to cut that shit out because my address is on it. Um but what's it? Mometasone. Mometasone, one milligram size capsule. So it's like this capsule and you open it up and um you just with the say saline or sinus wash now i have these and with sterilized water you put it in here then you flush it through your nose so i've i've been doing i i've done the steroids for over a over a month i don't remember how long, but then i started to get nose bleeding um and it, it got strong strong but i also live in reno nevada it's really dry here and also now we have a lot of forest fires i mean in california but the uh, air quality is really bad anyways i stopped using the steroids quite a while ago and now i'm just back with just regular sinus wash two times a day this is also um yeah what changed so it's much better so yeah i am doing really really finally i'm really doing so much better soon i will go to the gym again i still um so i'm doing like balancing exercises and even now i feel my nose there's uh, like when I thought, oh, this anyways, but even now talking, I feel pressure. And especially when I do like exercise or even when I bend down to lift something up, I, I still feel it. So yeah, it takes such a long time. I still have, um, when I wash out my nose, nothing is coming out anymore. There used to be tons of shit coming out, but I still have it like <sighs> there. It's like now like a lot of stuff like that but also that is getting better so now it's really getting better everything so yeah super glad about that and i think that's it 
for that video and hey yeah i took the desmopressin i'm still fine i don't even feel it because i i really used to get so dizzy like and and a kind of anxiety but yeah good oh now i don't smell it anymore now i do <laughs> yeah this is also something like it's not always the same sometimes I, sm I smell better sometimes less sometimes i smell better with this one or better with that one or sometimes i smell only with this one and nothing with that one but in general it gets really better better and better